thanks for stopping by we're going to go ahead and cut away to the first uh, pattern here in the first four balls and take a good look at what we're doing all right you're drawing back on this one ball now you could draw back to get straight in on the two ball and on that two ball line and then draw back again to get on the three ball line and that'll leave you in good shape on the four ball but i came up a little bit short of that two ball line so i'm forced to go two rows in that parallel angle situation and back out on the left hand side i need to get up under that three ball the left hand side of that three ball line so i can bounce out to get on that four ball and i'll explain that further when we get to the next graphic just straight bottom here no english you're just trying to draw back you have a little bit of an angle on the one ball and it's enough to draw back you, and you need to draw back a little bit further than you might think to get on this two ball line but it is what it is and let's cut away here to the second pattern we have to get to the left side of this three ball line so we can bounce out for a shot on the four ball the problem is we if the seven ball is getting in the game and it's a major obstruction here um, so we have to bounce out to the right hand side and try to get on that four ball line and this is going to take pinpoint precision here then it's really easy to come up short here and get on the wrong side of this three ball. And now we have another obstruction with that five ball getting in the game. So, yeah, you don't have much margin of error here. If you go too long, um, you're going to get on the 50-yard line on the three ball. So this is going to take a touch, and it's a little bit dangerous. Uh, the first way I explained with just getting on the two ball line, would have been a lot easier but I came up a little bit short and this is what we're left so let's just do the best we can and proceed through the game top left here to uh, come all the way back up table be, be careful stroke it but don't slam it um, you're going to go too far if you slam it it's two rounds back out with that parallel hang Let's cut there and take a look at the third pattern. This is three, four, five, and six. And on this three ball shot, I go a little too long and a little too far to the right of that four ball. So I'm forced to get creative to get the right position back on the five to get down the table on that six ball. Um, and don't forget that seven ball obstruction down there and the eight balls a little bit in the game too but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it um and back back then I, this was shot in 2017 and, and i had a bad habit of going long on a lot of balls um it, it wasn't long, it was short. I was having a whole lot of trouble getting the right position on the balls. Bottom, bottom right here to just kind of stun, stun the cue ball out off the three to the center of the table. But like I said, I go a little too long. Let's cut away to the next graphic. And what you know what happens in, in all pool games is you cross a threshold. If you play a whole lot of pool, you eventually cross this line where you start seeing the same patterns coming up over and over and over again. And you automatically know what, to, or you think you automatically know what to do. But if your head's not in the game, um, you're going to get a little bit cocky about it and you're going to take it for granted. And uh, you tend to get out of line. And when we get out of line, we're forced to shoot not low percentage shots, but go for like an evil Knievel type pull game where, you know, you're trying to get back in line and you have to be a little more brave than if, you know, if you, if you had stayed in line. And then it just becomes a train wreck. 
So we get, you know, we're forced to do crazy stuff or a little bit crazier than we're used to. And, and we get further out of line. So now we're, you, now we, now we have to get a little more brave and we get further out of line. So, and before you know it, by the time you get to the seven ball or the eight ball, um, you're just doing nutty things just to try to stay in the game or just to try to get back in line. Um, it's best, <laughs> you know, it's easy to say and hard to do, but it's best to just stay in line and not get cocky like you'll see me doing coming up on the five ball. But back to this four ball shot, if I was a little bit closer to center of the table, all I would have to do is draw back on this four ball and I'd be on the perfect position to get from the five back to the six and easily get back on the seven. But I have to get a little bit creative and now we see that obstruction of that seven ball coming into the picture and the eight ball is on the same route down here. It's right about here and I have to get around that too. So now I have to go two rails back out on the five and I have to get the right angle on the five to get back on the six. So, yeah, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't be in a position to force myself to do not crazy stuff, but much harder stuff than I would have had to done if I had stayed in line. Straight top period, no English, you're just using the natural angle of the cue ball. You know, here you see me getting down left-handed, and um, I don't do much of this anymore. I, I think it finally got through my head that I'm not left-handed. Um, it's just a lazy kind of thing. I don't want to look for the bridge. It's always in a different spot, and I know I can make this and come back to rails. The problem is I get out of line again. And if I had taken the time to find the right, you can set it up and try to keep it in the same spot so I know where it is all the time I wouldn't be in this position and here I am I'm, I'm not showing off I'm just being lazy and, and laziness and pull um, it's it's not a good combination so this was the plan to get back on the six ball but you're about to see that I go a little bit too long here and I get to right about here, um, and I'm again forced to shoot that parallel angle shot two rounds back on the seven. And I'm off balance, I'm, I'm up on the table, and I hit it way too hard and go way too long on the seven ball, which I didn't have a big margin of error on, on the seven ball. Um, it, I mean, it's the same old thing as I could have got the rake and would have been in, but I need to practice with the rake. I never do that. Nobody ever does it. Um, but I mean, it's come up twice in this game and twice I refuse to use it and twice I get way out of line. So, I mean, <laughs> that, that's, I guess that's the lesson of this video. Don't be lazy and get the damn rake. Top right here, but there's no need to hit it as hard as I hit it. And there you see me climbing up on the table like a dummy. You saw me cueing that with bottom left, but I'm actually hitting the cue ball top left. Uh, bottom left would have drew it too far, and it would have been too sharp of an angle, and the cue ball would have came right back at the seven ball and probably would have hit the seven ball, and that probably would have resulted in tying up the seven and the eight. Um, so it might not look like I did what I actually did. But anyway, I'm going two rails on that parallel angle. And once again, I have to get pinpoint precision. I have to pretty much stop on this line. Um, so I could just hit a stop shot on the seven ball and be on the perfect angle to get from the eight um, over on the other side of the table through the nine. 
Yeah, it just doesn't work out like that. I go all the way to the eight ball here, and I get stuck. You'll see, I, I get stuck in a serious, serious problem, and I'm jacked up, and uh, it just becomes the dreaded train wreck. Um, there's nothing much to say about these last four balls. Um, we're going to roll it right before I shoot um, the seven. We're going to cut away and... Just watch the whole game without the graphics and without all the yakking, without the cuts, and without all this dang nonsense. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it as always. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. It's good to see you guys here. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope I'm doing my part in the world of pool. Peace, guys.